Ah, Python Zip. A method so simple yet so powerful, it feels like magic. To understand its brilliance, let's dive into a story about synchronization, teamwork, and how Python brings everything together in perfect harmony. Imagine a train station where two separate lines of passengers are boarding a train. One line holds ticket numbers and the other holds the passengers' names. The goal? Match each passenger with their ticket, one-to-one, -one, in a way that's seamless and efficient. Without organization, it would be chaos. Names and tickets all over the place. Mismatches galore. Enter the train conductor, Python zip function, whose job is to pair these two lines of data perfectly. With a simple command, zip takes the first ticket from one line and the first passenger from the other, then moves on to the next pair, and so on, until everyone is matched. Let's see this in action. Suppose you have two lists. Python tickets, 101, 102, 103, passengers equals Alice, Bob. If you call Python zip to zip tickets, passengers, print list, list. The output is 101 Alice, 102 Bob. Zip creates pairs, aligning each ticket with its corresponding passenger. No fuss, no errors, just clean, synchronized data. Now, imagine you're managing a classroom. You have a list of student names and another list of their grades. Without Zip, you'd need a loop to manually combine these lists. But with Zip, the pairing is automatic. Python students equals David Eva Frank A A for student grade in Zip students grades printf student grade. The result, David A Eva B Frank A. It's as if Zip is the classroom assistant, making sure each student gets their grade without any mistakes. But what happens when the lists are uneven? Let's say one list is longer than the other. Python tickets equals one and one and two. Passengers equals Alice, Bob, Charlie. Zip handles it gracefully, stopping at the shortest list, 101 Alice, a Bob. It's like the train conductor saying, we'll match as many as we can, and the rest will wait for the next train. The real magic of zip appears when you work with multiple iterables. Imagine aligning columns in a spreadsheet. Each iterable represents a column, and zip combines them row by row. Here's an example. Python names equals John James, ages equals 25, 30, 22, cities equals New York, Paris, Tokyo. For row in zip names, ages, cities, print row. Output, John, 25, New York, 30, Paris, Jim, 22, Tokyo. Zip brings everything together, creating rows of synchronized data. But the magic doesn't stop there. You can even unzip data using zip. Imagine you've already zipped up your passengers and tickets. Python zipped equal 101 Alice, Bob, Bob. To separate them back into their original lines, Python tickets, passengers equal zip zipped, print tickets. Now 101 print passengers, Alice, Bob, Charlie. It's as if the train conductor reversed the process, placing passengers into tickets back in their respective lines.